my channel, folks. It's great to see you here once again. Well, I'm bringing you another review, and this time, this review is going to be over the Dr. Dish Pro. The Dr. Dish Pro is a shooting machine, passing machine, and a workout machine for basketball players of all skill levels and ages. So, without further ado, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy and how long it actually takes to set up the Dr. Dish Pro. So, in other videos, I'll show you other workouts that the machine is capable of. But, for now, this is just going to be an introductory video of showing you just how easy the machine is to set up. And also, what it looks like from a player's perspective when they're working out, passing, and shooting with the machine. Alright guys, and gals, let's get started. All right, folks, welcome back. Sorry for the shaky video, but I have to hold this so you can see the machine. All right, this is the machine when it is in storage. All right, it's just been gotten out of the closet that we had it stored away in. Uh, one of the things that you're definitely going to need is an extension cord, okay? All right, there's ours. Uh, we made sure to get a three-prone extension cord meaning it, you know, has the uh, ground right there. So three prone. It's just uh, one-tenths. I guess you can also say 120 um, volts. So nothing too crazy. Uh, here is the uh, mechanism that actually counts the made buckets. It's just set on top. Uh, but we normally cannot get it through the door. So normally we have to just lay it off to the side. All right, so here's the front of the machine. Uh, the display that shows you the number of shots that have been taken. Uh, this is where the ball kicks out to you. Uh, this is the return mechanism. It does have an open area where you can slide uh, boy balls, uh, girl balls into here and down, or you can just throw it up through the net. But uh, essentially, this is all that it is. Here's the uh, keypad right here. You know, you have the power button, the start and pause, and the tempo and the arrows for selection and enter, and some more buttons that you can uh, make out uh, later if you want to. I'll go ahead and zoom in on those so you can look at those. Okay, there's that. And you have player and upload. Uh, you can even do exercises uh, and drills of your own making with their app that's on uh, their website. They have a training zone, as you see there in the lower left-hand corner. Well, now the lower left-hand corner. Two-point shot, free throw practice. And one thing that's interesting is the tempo. If you raise the tempo, it actually slows down. The lower the number in the tempo, the faster it kicks out. Anyway, uh, well, kicks out consecutive. Now this is the throw distance. Uh, if you need to set that, uh, all that you need to do is realize that um, it has a selection of one through five, all the way down here to all the way up to the top there. Okay? So, uh, as far as the throw distance goes, I believe that one is the furthest and five is the slowest. It's been a little while since I used that, so, but I think that's correct. If I'm wrong, I apologize. So either one extreme, this is, if it's all the way down here, this is either really far or not so far, or uh, that one is really far or not so far. So I guess to start out, you might want to start in the middle and then gauge it, you know, if you need to. All right, so there's that. All right, and one thing that would be helpful if you're thinking about purchasing one of these for your, uh, yourself, your child, or whatnot, if, uh, if you can, it's nice to have the remote. This can pause the machine if need be, and it's really helpful because eventually <laughs> we all will shoot and break some shots, and they may escape the net. So... Let's go ahead and show you how easy this thing is to set up. So I'm just going to set the video over here on a stand and let it record as I'm trying to get it set up for uh, 
practice. We're not really having a practice or even a shoot around. I just came down to show you guys how to set up this machine if any of you are interested in purchasing a Dr. Dish. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I do want to say this. I may put this together a little bit differently than some people who already have one. So I just want to make that clear. <laughs> if uh, some of you don't like the way that I've uh, put the machine together, I'm sorry, but this is the way that I do it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this, okay? There's a little bar that you want to close to make sure it doesn't collapse on you. I'll show you that in a few in just a moment. It looks like I'm pretty much ready. All that I want to do now is just back up. this up close. 
All right, from a shooter perspective, I want you to notice how high that net goes. Okay, it goes up really high. So it has to, you know, be that high to accommodate the rebounds for the balls. Okay, so as you move in closer, this is what you have. Okay, here is a free throw perspective. Okay, and if you want to shoot free throws, a good tempo for this is probably around 12. You know. Wow, that was loud. 12 or 10. And here's your perspective from a three-point line. Okay. Now let me show you the uh, setup here. Those two important things I wanted to show you. You want to make sure that you have this clasped in place. This will hold this. Okay, that's important. <laughs> and if you want your shots to be counted by the machine, you definitely want to make sure that this is plugged in. If this is not plugged in, your shots, the ball will still kick out, but your shots, how many you've made, will not be counted. Also, you want to make sure that you have this bar format. Oh, you want to make sure that this bar is closed. That way the machine will not accidentally collapse. Okay, this will keep, keep it from closing. So that's good to know. Now, another thing that's good to know is if your machine is set up by default, it's going to ask for a password. So, now, this key will allow you to bypass the password, that keyless remote. Now, if you don't know your machine's code, you can always contact the manufacturer if you've already put a code on it and you've lost it. But, by default, the code is the following. Nine, and you get nine by just arrowing to your left. Enter, arrow, enter, arrow, enter. And the machine is ready. And it says select drills. And if you want to select any saved drills, you can here. If you want to select workouts, you can select worked outs. So you can go into your workouts to select out which one you want. Save drills, well, let's see. Select drill using the arrow. All right, so I just click select drill again, and I've got all these. These are all the shooting spots that you can practice from. Okay, if you don't like that, you can press it again, and it gives you secondary options from the three-point line. And here's another option. Here's another one, and another one. Now, let's say that you don't want to go through the hassle of Punch it in that password. Uh, you notice that this was version 3.0. Then, all you have to do is use the keyless remote. You just press it, and it bypasses that. But you can still access everything that you wanted to as before. Uh, it, it has free throw practice, two point percentages, and everything. So, tons and tons of drills. So, anyway guys, I just want to show you how quickly you can set up this Dr. Dish Pro. I could show you it in action, but trust me folks, you don't want me to be the guy since I am in my middle 40s and about close to 280 pounds, you wouldn't want me to show you how to <laughs> work out on this machine. But if you're worried about that net, all you gotta do is just uh, use one of the balls when you're loading the machine uh, to just knock that net down so you can just toss one up and over the net and hopefully get it in the rim you should be able to and that net will just fall straight on through if it doesn't shoot another one in there and it'll eventually go down on in there okay but this is the machine and it's not that bad to set up so and if you don't want to throw the balls up there because you know you just don't want to you can always like I told you before just drop them right in there. Now the remote, very important not to lose this. Um, 
I guess if you have any coaches that are obsessed, you can put this under lock and key, no pun intended, and you can just, you know, but uh, all of us, we just keep it on the machine. That way you've got it. What's great about that is the player can also, or the coach can keep it on them to the side and uh, stop the machine if they ever have to go and chase down the balls. But let me go ahead and uh, once again just show you the tear down and the takedown of this. This to show you how easily it is to put away. Okay. Now before I do that, I do want to show one thing to you. Okay. Now the machine is off. We have a problem of storing the machine. Uh, when the machine is broken down, it's hard to get it through the door because it's so wide, a 32 inch door. So what we have to do is after we have it broken down, we have to by hand rotate this around and have it oriented like this. That way it can safely go through the door. Now, you cannot take this down with it pointing like this. It has to be turned to the side. So we're gonna to have to turn this back to the side again. Okay, just go slow. Don't abuse it. There you go. If it's turned like this, then you can easily store it away. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly so you can watch the reverse of setting it up. But yes, uh, once again, I need to give you a walk around. That way you can see a perspective. I'm probably a out past NBA range by far. <laughs> so there we go. Move closer. I know, you know, that's what you're looking at right there. High school, three-point line. Notice that uh, this is how the net is laid out. Yes, the American flag. So there's that. Just want to give y'all a quick run through of that. Also, I'm going to show you how easy this is to put away because we got to put it away now since I'm no longer playing on it. Yeah, I know. A grown man playing, but that's, that's me. All right, so let's take this machine down. It's, it's pretty much the reverse. So just watch. All right, folks, this is how easy it is to take the doctor dish, roll down, and move it. If you ever need to, you can just unlock the wheels and push it to any other basket in the gym if you need it off the main floor without having to tear it completely down, which saves 
uh, excuse me, which saves you time. So, I know we didn't chew with it, I know we didn't pass with it, but I at least hope that this was helpful as far as how long and how easy it is to take this machine down. All right, guys and gals, y'all have a great day and hope you enjoyed this review. If you do, just like and subscribe. Thank you. I'm going to go home.